Hi there, for this video I'm going to show you how you can convert your old safe exchange coins over to the new SafeX blockchain in which you will be able to get both SafeX tokens and SafeX cash through the airdrop system. First of all you'll need to download and install the latest version of the SafeX wallet which is version 7. If you're not sure where to get the latest wallet simply go to safex.io, click on SafeX wallet and then choose your selected operating system. For me, it's going to be Windows, and then click Download. It will then give you some terms and conditions to read, and then you click the Download button. From there, simply install the software, and it will be ready to execute. Once the software is installed, you should have a link to it on your desktop here. Open up the wallet. If you already have an existing SafeX wallet installed, whether it's version 6 or below, your previously installed addresses will be on here already. If not, and you have the private keys for, the, for the, uh, your SafeX cash wallets, you can use the import function. But for here we're going to assume that you already have your SafeX on a previous version of the wallet. So I'm going to log in right now. Whilst that's loading, I'm just going to go through a few statements here. So throughout this video, I'm going to refer to three separate coins here, actually four separate coins. When I refer to SafeX coin or the Safe Exchange coin, I'm actually referring to the old blockchain. So this is the old Safe Exchange coin, which we've been able to trade, buy, sell for the last few years. This is the, the coin that you can currently buy on the SafeX.io website and through Trade Satoshi. When I refer to SafeX token or SafeX cash, I'm actually referring to the new coins that are available on the new blockchain. So when we convert our SafeX coins, we will get one SafeX token and 0 0.0023 SafeX cash per one SafeX coin. Now within the wallet you'll see that you have your address here with the amount of SafeX tokens available and how much bitcoins you have on your address. Now please take note that this does require a certain amount of bitcoins to perform the necessary transactions to migrate. This is because the old SafeX blockchain is actually based on the Bitcoin blockchain. It's actually on the back of the Bitcoin blockchain which means it requires bitcoins to uh, pay for the cost of a transaction. From here, what you, need to do, what you need to do next is make sure that you are synchronized with the Bitcoin blockchain and the SafeX uh, blockchain. And if you've got two green lights, you're ready to go. So what you need to do next is press the migrate button. And it will give you a dialog. As you can see here, I've already got uh, an empty SafeX address, so I'm going to ignore this one. And I'm going to focus on this one here with the 10,000 SafeX, uh, SafeX cash, uh, coins available on here. You'll also see my Bitcoin balance as well. First, you press the Migrate button. I'm just going to scroll down here. It's incredibly, incredibly important that you read the this text here. I'll read it out. So in this phase, you will go through the steps in order to make migrate your safe exchange coins from the Bitcoin block blockchain to the SafeX blockchain. In return, you will receive an equal amount of SafeX tokens. So an equal amount means if you transfer a thousand SafeX, uh, SafeX coins over, you will get a thousand SafeX tokens in return. Additionally, you will receive 0 0.0023 SafeX cash for every uh, SafeX uh, safe exchange coin that you send over. This process is re irreversible and you should do this so acknowledging that any mistakes made during this process can and definitely may result in a total loss of your safe exchange coins and also your SafeX tokens and SafeX cash airdrop. Proceed, proceed with absolute care and follow the procedures carefully. Please do consult uh, the SafeX forums if you have any questions. I do recommend you ask questions on the forums 
or email the team directly uh, before you start this process if you have any uncertainties. You can email the SafeX team directly at safe, uh, team at safex.io. There will be fees involved that go to the Bitcoin network in order to facilitate the transactions. These are not provided by the SafeX teams and no one but yourself is obligated to have the necessary Bitcoin fees covered on your own. This procedure will last for only one year or until block 260,000. After this time, no safe exchange coins will be accepted for migration. Any unclaimed SafeX airdrop will be absorbed by the SafeX developers. So basically, any SafeX cash um, that hasn't been claimed through the airdrop at the end of this at the end of this uh, one year period will be pushed to the SafeX developers fund. So once you've read that and you understand it, you press I understand. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can generate a SafeX, a new blockchain, SafeX blockchain address. I won't go through how to import it at this stage, otherwise the video will be too long. For this video, we're going to show you how to create a new one. So you click new address. Just scroll down a little bit so you can read the full information at full. The following wallet information is to control your coins. Do not share it. Sharing this information can and will result in a total loss of your SafeX tokens and SafeX cash. Keep this information safe at all times. So this here is your new SafeX blockchain wallet address. Now it's a dual, um, it's a, a dual identity uh, address, which means that it's your address for both your SafeX token and your SafeX cash. You then also have your spend key and your view key, both the public and the secret versions uh, in, in both versions. It is incredibly important that you back up this information and store it on a USB stick or print it out or whatever, just keep it absolutely secure, keep it safe, because if you lose this information and for whatever reason your computer fails, you will not be able to restore your wallet without this information. So please take this as um, your first warning that you do need to keep a backup of this information. And if you don't, it's uh, you, you've only got yourself to blame. Fortunately for us, we were forced to actually back up our SafeX keys to continue. If you press the backup my SafeX keys button, it will give you the option to save a text file. If you click that, and you'll see the public address that is available here. Next, you click set the first half. This will now perform a transaction on the Bitcoin blockchain. This can take anywhere from uh, a few minutes up to half an hour. Once this stage is complete, you will see that the pending BTC section here will be zero. It won't have a minus or any number in it, it will be zero. This will take a little bit of time. As I said, it may take a few minutes up to half an hour for this to process. It all depends on how busy the Bitcoin blockchain network is at the time. Periodically, you can refresh to check if the transaction has gone through or not. If you do press set the, uh, the second half, it will say that a uh, warning you do not have a, you have unconfirmed transactions. Please wait until they're confirmed. Fortunately, we can close the wallet or do something else whilst we're waiting for this first half of the transaction to go through. So I will pause the video here and I will continue once the transaction has gone through. So the first half of the migration transaction has been completed. You can tell when it's been completed by the fact that the pending BTC will zero out. The next stage is to do the second half, which is a very similar process. You just press the set, the second half button. And again, you need to wait for your pending BTC uh, Bitcoin to zero out. The last time it took roughly 10 minutes per stage 
Um, so expect rough, roughly around about that, dependent on how busy the SafeX network, uh, the Bitcoin network is. Now the second transaction has been completed. This time it took roughly 20 minutes to perform. So you will see a variation in um, transaction times between each stages. So it's good to factor in maybe half an hour to an hour to go through this entire process. Also keep in mind that you can close the wallet at any time and come back to the whole process later anyway. So um, you don't need an, an entire error or so to go through this if you haven't got it. So now the second transaction has gone through, uh, I need, now need to set how many SafeX, SafeX coins I'm going to send to the burn address um, and then to obviously receive the uh, allocated amount of SafeX tokens and SafeX cash. So for this example I'm just going to do 10 and I've just typed in 10 into there and I press send and it'll obviously go through the whole terms and conditions and just to make sure that you're 100% happy with the transaction as this is reversible, irreversible so I'm burning 10 safe exchange coins in the migration process I will receive 10 SafeX tokens on this new address and in addition I will receive 0 0.2, 0 0.0232 uh, SafeX cash on the same address. Uh, am I happy to proceed with this transaction? And just another reminder that this is in an irreversible transaction. From here, there is no chance of customer support for takebacks. The transaction gets written into the blockchain and will be proceed, proceeded uh, processed by the SafeX migration system. Proceed only if you understand what are the effect, what are the effects of sending this transaction by clicking OK. Otherwise, click cancel. So basically, here, if you fully understand what's going on right now, you fully understand the difference between the old SafeX blockchain and the new SafeX blockchain, that you've made a backup of the SafeX, the new SafeX blockchain uh, information. So your public key, your private keys, your view keys, and all that. You've made a backup of that. Make sure that you've put it onto a USB stick and kept that somewhere safe. Do it on multiple USB sticks if you can. Uh, print it off if you can as well. Put that somewhere safe. Uh, just do whatever you can to make sure that these files, these private keys, and everything is backed up because uh, you are ultimately responsible for the backing up of your SafeX um, tokens and cash here. So once you fully understand that and you understand everything that's going on, press OK. This will now perform a transaction. You can see here that pending SafeX is currently minus 10. It will take another 10 to 20 minutes for this whole process to go through. So again, I'll pause the video again and restart it once this, this transaction has been completed. So there we have it, the uh, migration was successful. I've got 10 SafeX tokens and 0.02328 blah 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 uh, SafeX cash. Uh, is the address that it's been sent to, which obviously will match the address that was generated in state in step one. Uh, just to take note, it takes uh, roughly around about one block uh, confirmation on the blockchain, on the SafeX blockchain. Uh, for this to work, for this to appear. So if it takes anything between 10 to 15 minutes, however long, uh, don't panic, it will eventually appear. You just need to give it a little bit of time because we're relying on the Bitcoin blockchain to perform the migration. Uh, so there you have it. That's the migration completed. If I go into my wallet, you'll see that the old SafeX address is now down by 10. If I want to check my new blockchain address, I click on the migrate button, and you can see here on the migration table, we have how many tokens and how many cash I have. Version eight will be updated to allow you to send 
your cash and tokens from one address to another. At this stage, it's just a view only. Uh, so please do factor that in if you're um, if if you need to consider this uh, this kind of thing. If you need to make sure that your safe exit is is liquid, for example, um, there will be the version eight will be out in a few weeks' time, which will have the functions to send uh, your tokens from one address to another. So as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, you can also go on the SafeX uh, official forum, so it's safe.exchange. Uh, we also have the Discord channel that you can join and ask any questions within there. And of course, there is the Twitter that you can, uh, the Twitter channels um, at safe underscore exchange uh, or at SafeX News, where you can ask any questions and we'll try our best to answer them for you. Uh, just as a recap, there's three transactions that happen. You need enough Bitcoin on your SafeX address, which is this address here. So if you send some SafeX to this address, uh, $1 worth of uh, Bitcoin should be more than enough to cover the cost of the transactions. Um, it takes roughly, uh, it costs me roughly around about 70 cents in total. For, either, for all three transactions to go through. Uh, obviously, you need to add a, a margin of variance there as, as the Bitcoin transaction fees do go up and down. So there you go. Enjoy your migration. Uh, do keep in mind the amount of time that you, you need. But remember, at each stage of the migration, you can close the wallet and come back to it at another time if you only have 10 minutes or whatever to perform the transactions.